Hi, this is Justin from AC Hamilton in Preston. I just, today I want to compare these two Clavinova pianos. We've got the Yamaha CLP745 and we've got the CSP170. So there's quite a lot of similarities between these two products, uh, but there's some fundamental differences that you may not be aware of because not even in specification. So the two most important things, the key action and the speaker system. So the, the key action is, they are roughly a similar standard, a high standard of key action with a wooden base and a synthetic ivory top. There's some tiny technical differences, but they're the, the same kind of level of key action. On the speaker system, on the specification, they're almost the same, but in reality, they're very, very different. So I don't know if you can see uh, from this shot or maybe we'll, we'll put some shots in but underneath here there's a, a separate speaker box that's facing forwards so it's like a whole separate unit that's underneath the, the, the keys here that doesn't exist on this one and the speakers here are built into the underside pointing to the floor so on camera or on the recording that you're not going to hear the difference in this but if you were here in the store today and we played this we played this you will notice or you would notice a big difference in the sound because of that speaker box so you'll notice they've both got tablets on there so if you don't already know you've got this uh, smart pianist app which is absolutely superb you you may have already checked it out if you haven't done, there's loads of videos on the Smart Pianist. It just works brilliantly. Everybody we show it to in store loves it, no matter whether you're 90 or six, you know, it's just one of those things. It just works brilliantly. But what I want to show you is there's some massive differences in what is actually available on the app. So some of the, the what people find more exciting parts of the app um, exist on the 170, CSB 170, but are missing from the 745. So that's what I want to show you. Okay, so we're in the song screen of the app. So on your CLPs, because this applies to pretty much all the CLPs, 745, 775, 785. So this is great, this is all the same. I mean, there's lots of videos on this. This is all graded exercises, absolutely superb content where you can take the right hand out, the left hand out, slow it down, speed it up, um, put the guide on so it stops until you play the right note. So it's a great tuition exercise, uh, superb feature. So that's the same on all of them that's great but what's different is the 50 popular the 50 popular songs so these are songs that will have typically a full orchestration you know um, string sections drum kits bass lines so the whole thing is a lot more you know ex exciting to play for most people so you know if we just choose something here So you can see you can just take off one part and then you can play with that on any sound you choose so i'll just show you a few more of these just to get you the, there's all the different sort of genres of uh of music
can also with the A and B, if you want to, you, you, often when you're practicing, you're learning a tune, you'll get so far and then you'll get stuck, you keep getting that bit wrong. So rather than playing a whole song, you can just go from a certain section in the, the song to keep repeating that section, get that bit right. As I say, slow it down, speed it up, even change the key and that changes the notation. It's it's absolutely superb. You know, whatever standard you are, you could just play one finger or you could play the full uh, piano score, right hand, left hand, or practice one whilst the other one's been playing. It's just, it's just a great thing. Everybody loves it. <laughs> there is stopped so we're waiting for me to play this note play a wrong note on purpose I might add and then the whole thing stops until you play the correct note it's absolutely brilliant so none of these uh, songs exist on 745 uh, and up and that's why is that that's because all of these sounds like uh, you know the guitars you could just hear then the drum kits just simply don't exist you've only got some very basic sounds that exist on the CLPs you don't get the full complement of sounds that you would use in an orchestra or band and that's why these great songs only Kind of work on uh, on CSB 170. Uh, also, while we're on the subject of uh, songs, if we have uh, somebody who wants to sing along to this, uh, to the to the backing track, or just sing and play on the CSB 170, you have a proper microphone input, and the app will also record the voice as well as what you play on the piano. So. Having a proper microphone input is, uh, you know, could be, and just to have fun, just to use it as a, use it as a karaoke machine, you know, with the lyrics. So that's another way of doing it. Um, so you'll get the, the, you can either have the score, you can either have the chords, or you can have the lyrics working like a karaoke thing. So the fact you've got a microphone input is an advantage. There you can also plug a guitar in and uh, use this chord track and play along on a guitar. So there's lots of possibilities um, that uh, you only get with the CSP. So now I want to get into the actual voices, the sounds. So there's 692 sounds on the CSP 170 uh, and only a tiny handful on the CLPs. But you might say, well, hang on, I'm only buying this to be a piano. So why do I need more than, say, 38 sounds as opposed to 692? Well, there's a lot of reasons that you might want those sounds. So it, and it's the quality of those sounds as well. So just on the point of view of the piano, so you've got your main two CFX Grand and both and Dolpha, which will be on the CLP as well. But then you've got a lot more variations of the uh, of, of piano sounds. They're also in categories, just grand pianos, just upright pianos. So you'll get some nice upright pianos on here. So even this sound, I don't think exists on the CLP. <laughs> and a lot of these uh, variations. This is a great one. So this is piano layer. So where you've got a, a piano sound actually layered with another sound already done for you. Lots of great variations of that. So 
none of these exist on CLP. Then you go on to electric pianos. Uh, there is some basic electric pianos on CLP, but just a lot more quality and variations here, and also in the sort of 1980s type electric piano sounds. <laughs> invites you to play in a different style that you wouldn't maybe buy the piano because of that but it, it's a, a nice sound to play and it encourages you to play in, in a different technique the other important thing about these sounds is they form part of if you choose one of these pre-recorded songs where you've got you know all sorts of guitars and strings and drums in the backing so that having these quality sounds means that those when you play those songs everything sounds amazing you see these have got the s dot art logo that means super articulation so just more you know the higher quality samples of sound recordings of sounds that you'll find on any of the sounds of the on the uh, on the CLP range everybody loves that sound you know it's just so expressive and we can play all the uh, different sounds coming in at different velocities so all this is educational stuff you know so and it en encourages people to play this is a great sound <laughs> absolutely gorgeous sound to play so all genres of sounds there's some really nice instruments so another added benefit of the CSP, uh, again, you may not buy it for this reason, but it's nevertheless, it's a benefit, is to have uh, backing styles. Uh, in my opinion, anything that gets you playing, that makes you have fun, is, is good. So this is just an example, one of many backing styles that are in the, in the app, you can access from the app. So to summarize, a lot of these voice categories and higher quality voices just simply don't exist on the CLPs. So that means not only can you not physically play them, you may or not want to do, I think it's great to be able to have these great nylon guitars and boys choirs, etc. But even if you don't want them, it's still important because if you do use the backing tracks, and pretty much most people love having those backing tracks, those backing tracks don't exist or certainly don't exist in a great quality without those full range of quality guitars, drums, bass, etc., etc. So they're very, very important, those sounds. Even if you don't play, even if you just play piano, those sounds are still important because they affect uh, the backing tracks which are, are wonderful to use on this product. If we now go and have a look at the CLP, uh, you'll see what I mean about what's missing on the app. Okay, so this is looking a bit weird now, but bear with me. The reason why I've done this is you can actually now clearly see the difference into what's available sound-wise in the app. So on the left, we've got the CSB 170, on the right we've got the CLP 745. This will apply also almost identically to 775 and 785. So we see here in the piano category, we've got all these categories at the top, the icons, the grand pianos, the upright pianos, the piano layers, etc. None of that is here. So you're missing, you see you're missing all of these sounds. 
and it's the same in any category um, if we go to the organ category you know all of these are sort of top quality classical pipe organ sounds different genres of organ sounds the S dot art are all top quality samples same with strings and vocals you've got all these categories here and they're just not there it's just like the most basic choir as opposed to these really top quality choirs here and it's the same throughout and this is why it's important it's important for actually being able to play the sounds and it's important for the playback of pre-recorded material so that includes the 50 um, styles here in the song section in the 50 popular but it also includes any data that you load into it such as MIDI files whereas MIDI files will work on the CLP 745 either a lot of the sounds will be missing so it will sound weird or there will be much less quality sounds so either way any pre-recorded data of, uh, such as MIDI files is going to be far far more advantageous on the on the CSB 170 so this is a, a crucial thing um, also we can see on the CSB you've got a style section you go here there's just nothing there so I'll go back to that menu you can see there you've got your four categories style section is completely missing so you don't have uh, you know the ability to to just pick a drum kit and play with it and then add a bass line and then add uh, an accompaniment to the bass line and all the variations and so on so that's a whole section of, of, of the product that's missing that you know can be quite uh, fun and educational to use um, another little subtle thing that we noticed was because the CSP has the charging point here at the side that means whenever you sit at the piano you turn it on it just works with the CLP because you've got to do it over Bluetooth all the time you've either going to have to you're going to either lose its charge or lose its connection so it's always going to be a slight uh, extra uh, hassle whereas this is always going to you sit down switch on it's just going to work 100% of the time so this is another advantage of the CSP so here we are I'm back on the CLP 745 so as we've discussed uh, there's a huge number of voices missing from here but more importantly or at least as important the quality of those voices is important uh, of the ones that are missing um, now it's fine if you go to the song section if you just choose the piano songs like it in this 50 classics for example in the lessons that's going to make no difference but it's if you're playing any kind of song that's involving anything other than just piano music so or if it's piano music with an orchestral backing or piano music with a beat that's where you're going to miss out on a CLP not just a 745 but also the 775 and 785 even uh, compared to the CSP and also if you ever load any uh, song files MIDI song files uh, that you've got on a computer put on a USB stick uh, they will work in here but the quality will be poor when a lot of sounds may be missing so it's going to sound really weird um, and we've discussed even just go back to basics just as purely a piano there is going to be a difference because of the speaker system on the 745 when it comes to the 775 you know I expect that to be more we'll maybe do another video on the 775 I expect that to be more comparable to the CSB in the sense that that will have the speaker box underneath uh, that's missing on the 745 so that'll be more of a 50-50 one um, and you're just looking at the benefits as we've discussed on the app
we've also discussed that it's a benefit on the CSB that you've always got it wired in to a connection here at the side of the music rest which is missing on the CLP that allows the iPad always to be charged and connected to the piano and we also discussed that the there's a, a microphone socket on the CSP that allows you to plug a microphone in or a guitar to to have fun with and play along with uh, music as you wish and even record the microphone and guitar along with the piano so there's more possibilities some of these possibilities you might not think you need maybe in a year's time two years time three years time you might suddenly find you need them so having them there has got to be a good thing and then lastly what about just as a piano so we discussed the speaker box but what about even without the speaker box just the actual sound and I tried these two instruments on headphones and I noticed there was a difference uh, in uh, what I think is a slightly higher quality of sample on the CSP again that would be I, ex I would expect that to be more of 50 50 with the CLP 775 but it seems like uh, it's slightly less standard of sample on the 745 to the CSP and we can tell that if we put the same pair of headphones into the CSP the same pair of headphones into the 745 we can hear a difference in the quality of the sample and this is not something you really see on specification but when you hear it and play it together side by side you, you these are when you pick up on these differences so i hope you've uh, uh, enjoyed that uh, presentation and uh, any questions just please give us a call